Hello YouTube! <laughs> Alright, today we are doing a review of the Mavo P5 camera monitor. Now, this was sent to me by Deskview, and it is a 5.5 inch HD monitor that accepts 4K input with a full HDMI cable. Uh, it is really cheap. So, what I'm trying to figure out is, does this ultra affordable 5.5 inch filled monitor do everything that a field monitor should do. Uh, now that includes showing, uh, you know, the proper waveforms, uh, whether the uh, false color works well on it and is easy to read, how bright the monitor is. I'm just gonna kind of go uh, step by step as I unbox it and use it on this Blackmagic 4K and tell you uh, what I think about this. Uh, I believe you can get for right around $100 now. So uh, let's unbox this baby. I don't normally do unboxings, but this just felt appropriate. All right, so we got the monitor itself. Super lightweight. First impressions are it's built relatively sturdy. Um, nothing feels loose. Got that. Let's see what else we have. Oh, and we dropped it. All right, so uh, I already dropped it. Uh, quality testing, still in one piece. That's good. Um, what else do we have here? We have a sunshade. Uh, also doubles as a hat. Oh, accessories. This is the L bracket for it. And pretty well built, actually. Um, super sturdy. Got something to clean the screen with. Uh, they include an HDMI, two mini HDMI, and uh, a HDMI to micro HDMI. So they gave that along with the battery. I believe this is a, looks like a Sony. Yep, it's gonna be a Sony uh, F550 battery. Pretty standard for a lot of these things. Uh, so uh, let's put this together and see how it works. All right, so we got everything set up on here. This is a really, uh, I guess the best way to describe it, it's, it's very pretty, the image that comes out of this monitor. I was expecting it to maybe look a little bit more low resolution, but uh, it looks great, especially at this price point. Uh, the menus are super simple, and then it has all of your really basic stuff that you would need on here. Uh, false color, focus peaking, uh, we've got, uh, you can change the peaking color, which I love, because uh, sometimes certain colors are hard to see when you're uh, trying to focus. As a matter of fact, it has red, blue, green. Nice. Uh, also has a zebra pattern option and histogram. Uh, and you can uh, do volume monitoring right off the of monitor as well. So all the functions you need. Let's, uh, let's take a look at how this false color works, actually. I'm really curious because that is something that I use quite a bit. And well, uh, this is, you know, this is really one of the best uh, purchases you can have at right around 100 bucks. I mean, this thing, this thing is like a must-have for every every beginning videographer. Um, love it so far. All right, so that was a very quick kind of overview. Uh, this monitor really does everything that it needs to do at uh, its price point at 100. dollars I know I keep on saying price point repeatedly because it is just such a bargain. So. I don't think there's a better 5.5-inch uh, field monitor out there uh, at $100, and I've heard that you can even find it for close to 80 bucks on some discount sites. Uh, everything about it is great. Um, you know, it gives you that false color, gives you the waveform. Uh, you can set the IREs. Uh, the focus peaking is really accurate and easy to uh, read and look at. Uh, it's pretty damn bright. Uh, this is actually one of the best uh, hoods I've ever seen on on any uh, monitor. It just uh, it sticks and it doesn't fall apart, which seems to happen with like even some small HD products that I have. Uh, so overall, uh, gotta recommend this. Uh, check it out. Link will be below. And thanks for watching this review.